10 boxes, 50 boxes, 100 boxes, no matter how many guides you watch, how many calculations you go through, at the end of the day, we all know how many boxes we're farming. It's how many apples we have left. Whether you're a free-to-play player or a massive whale swimming through an ocean of salt, none can escape the hell that is universally known as farming. So, to prepare for one of the most lucrative events coming up, after innumerable tests, I've compiled a list of the fastest arts farmers for the best free quests to farm from the upcoming Land of Shadows Battleground Blitz, aka the Shisho Fest Lotto event, which you can find in the description below with in-depth damage numbers, time trials, and skill orders. If you're new to FGO, TLDR, this event gives you a lot of materials at a much more generous rate, which helps you level up your servants a lot faster. Just be sure to not bring yourself out on your farming runs. A quick disclaimer, all the following run times are based off of the level 90 hero quests instead of the level 90 plus legend quests, since they both drop about the same number of lotto ticket frames per run, with the only benefits for the legend quests being extra shop currency and a minuscule 2.64% chance of dropping a lotto CE, versus the hero quest's 2.18% chance on phase one. To add to this, my average farming time on the hero's quest was around 18% faster than farming the legend quests. In short, the 90 plus legend quests are slightly more efficient per AP, but with continuous farming over time, you'll yield far more lotto ticket drops from the level 90 hero quests by simply being able to do more runs in the same amount of time. With that being said, let's get into the fastest arts farmers for Shisho Fast 2022. Musashi Berserker, aka Mu USA Sashi, aka Smoosh, aka 2kg, is an incredibly capable servant when it comes to speedrunning free quests. If you've watched any of my previous videos on Musashi Berserker, you'll know she was practically made for this. Even at NP1, Musashi tears through most enemy waves with little concern for NP refund or damage, with her fastest farming time coming in at 1 minute and 28 seconds for Phase 1 and 2 hero free quests. However, she does still struggle against Berserker enemies without a support CE or plug suited support servant, which takes her farming time up to 1 minute and 36 seconds when farming the Phase 3 hero free quest in a 6 CE setup. Besides that, she's fast, hits hard, and is an excellent farmer for many lotus to come. Mordred Rider, aka Surfmo, is one of the most broken art sleeping servants to date when it comes to NP refund. Even on the JP server, her NP refund is unmatched by any other true art servant to date. When it comes to Surfmo's damage against the Phase 1 and Phase 3 hero free quests, she won't have a problem at MP2, though for the Phase 2 hero free quest, Surfmo will need to be at level 120 NP5 with 2k foes to have a chance of clearing the 160,000 HP enemy in that free quest. Or you could just plug Suna to Mamo at a cost of a 4 to 5 second penalty. I'll be honest, given how steep the competition was between servants like Space Ishtar, Misashi Berserker, and Mordred Rider, I wasn't expecting Salieri, of all servants, to even come close to the top three. Until he wasn't just because I forgot three stars exist. If you've got Celery, he's great. He even manages to outpace Servmo's farming time by a whole three seconds per run. However, even with a whopping 40% event damage bonus for his 3-star rarity, Salieri will need some grailing up to level 90 at NP5 to deal consistent enough damage for 3-turn farming the Phase 1 and Phase 2 hero free quests. 
Alternatively, you can grill him up to level 80 at NP5 and level the letter ticket CE up to level 100. That'll take some time and a lot of CE bombs, but hey, you do you, gamer. And that's it. I did include other servants, such as Melt Lancer, Chen Gong, Jason, and a few other arts farmers I found to still be relatively practical for this event in the document below. So, if you don't care for the meta or just want to use your Hawaifu or his Bondo, feel free to check that out. Sorry the video guy came out a little late this time around, but I hope this video and document have been useful to you guys on your farming runs. If you liked what you saw here, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to see me live during my endurance runs for 1000 lotto boxes, you'll find me over on twitch.tv forward slash pakachak. Good luck on your farming runs, try not to burn yourself out, and I'll see you all on the next one. Laters.